The star was midshipman Roger Staubach, who won the Heisman Trophy that year. And in 1970, Notre Dame came to the Cotton Bowl, the first bowl appearance for the Fighting Irish in 45 years, led by scrambling quarterback Joe Theismann. But this is New Year's Day 1980, a beautiful day in Dallas, Texas, at the Cotton Bowl. Here comes Seibel. Ball is in the air. And it is second by right. Drops it, picks it up, gets back to the 5, 10, 15. And struggles across to the 21-yard line. Delrick Brown runs the attack, and his running backs in the Veer formation, John Newhouse and Terrell Clark. Clark rushed for 1,063 yards. He averaged five and a half. Newhouse rushed for 678. He averaged 5.4. There's the remainder of the offensive unit. Great offensive tackle, Melvin Jones. A lot of All-American teams he made. John Newhouse on the dive. But the ball got away and recovered by Nebraska at the 25-yard line. Lawrence Cole recovered the fumble number 81. Jeff Quinn is the starting quarterback for Nebraska. Out of the I formation. Give it to Redwine. Jarvis Redwine out of bounds at the 19-yard line. Set out a year and came on strong this season. There's the backfield and your receivers. Junior Miller, the All-American tight end. Your offensive line. First man through. Taken there by Andre Franklin. If we take a look at the defensive line of the Houston team, great strength in their defensive tackles and the linebackers. David Hodge, a great one. Franklin ahead of Redwine in the I formation. Give it to Franklin. He's got the first and ten at the 14-yard line. Kim Smith in a wide right. Red line. But the Houston defense stops him at the line of scrimmage. Grady Turner from Tyler. Kenny Brown's gone out of the game. Jeff Finn is back in for Nebraska. Quinn rolling and looking and throwing. Incomplete. Jeff Finn is the tight end left. Here to the fullback. Taken by Andre Franklin. Suk up, 12 for 16. He was all big eight. 23-yard attempt. 23-yarder is up. No good. Why? Ball goes over at the 20-yard line. First and 10 for Houston. There still is no score. Elder Brown brings him up. He keeps the ball. Gets out to the 29-yard line. Both these teams use two quarterbacks on occasion. He's trying to dive play this time to John Newhouse. As the defensive line for Nebraska. What a great one. Keep your eye on Kerry Winemaster, the nose guard. Not too big, but very active. All big eight. Brown kept it again. Drove out to the 33. And that's taking into consideration what Billy Sims did. They've got Hubert Miller on the wide left. Brown still has the ball. Pumps once and goes long. Incomplete to Lon LP. We looked at the watches. We thought it was a little extraordinary, too. Trying the dive to Terrell Clark. Kenny Brown. Mark Ford is average, 40.4. Let it go. There'll be no run back. It's at the 20. It's a beautiful roll. Doesn't it go? And it's blown dead. Jeff Clinton, the quarterback, first to 10 at the 15 yard line. No score in the ballgame, first quarter. Red line. To the 20 yard line. He got about five. Second down play coming. To the fullback, Andre Franklin. Third and three. Pitch to the trailer. Kenny Brown. Jeff Quinn going on the run. And it is completed to Anthony Steele. Kenny Brown is back in there now. And Tim 
Smith in the wideouts. Bo Pivot Quinn with a late pitch. Red line. He got the first and ten. Bradley made the tackle. Fountain and red line in the eye formation. Quinn with a pop pass over the middle. And it is completed. Taken by Junior Miller, the All-American end in four days. Red line. Inside the 40. Fountain and red line in the eye. Red line. First down. Ridden out of bounds by Tommy Ebner. Motion across. Then turned a screen left. Kenny Brown. And Kenny Brown gets to the 30-yard line. Avicos picked up a few yards, and then Schleusner picked up a touchdown on the guard around. Franklin to the 28-yard line. And it's complete to the 22 yard line to Kenny Brown. Then, Red Wine trying to tiptoe down the sideline. He goes into the end zone. Did he, he step, step out? He stepped out at the 11. Franklin. Hodge. And third and two. Red line, penalty marker at the line of scrimmage. He's in the end zone, but there's a penalty to be checked. So jumping up and down. Offsides against Houston, decline. Touchdown for Red Wine. Or oh, five blocking versions. Suck up, Skipper. It's good. And so with five minutes, 13 seconds remaining to be played in the first quarter. Score is now on Nebraska seven and the Houston Cougars nothing. First blood has been drawn by Nebraska in the 1980 Cotton Bowl. Colors kicking off. Dallas Wiggins and Eddie Wright. And Eddie Wright at the one yard line. He is at the 10 to 15. And across the 25. On the out of bounds up near the 30 yard line. It's coming from behind this year. Clipping. Offense. First down. In the wide right. Down on the keeper. Brother Brown held on. He's dropped near the nine yard line. Brown still got it. Drove out near the 15-yard line. Dave Legal are standing along the 50. Ford spirals it. Good punt. Taken at the 43 by Legal. Penalty markers drop. Clipping on the run back. 15 yards. First down. Nebraska leading by a score of 7-0. Still has the ball to the 30-yard line. Tim Hager took over, and then Quinn is back in there. So Osborne has two weapons in the quarterback spot. Tim Smith is in a wide right. Quinn now back to set up. Incomplete to Miller. Junior Miller is with Jeff Quinn from Ward, Nebraska. Completed. Taken out there by Kenny Brown in the right flat to field the punt. He calls for a fair catch and makes it. Drops the ball. The scramble is on. Ronnell Fee. Incomplete. Tell you one thing, this is what, your 20th year as a voice of the Cotton Bowl. It's great to have you here, pal. There's a late pitch. Darrell Clark carrying. Fumble. Elric Brown still had the ball. He fumbled it. 
Kenny Brown and Dave Legal are deep. Bounds around the 40 yard line. The 35. 33 yard line. The NFC Championship and then the Super Bowl on CBS. First and 10 at the 33. Miller, Junior Miller on that end around we saw at the top of the show. Making a cotton bowl a habit down here, three out of four years. Isn't he though? Steals. Anthony steals back to the inside. But so at the end of the first quarter here in the 1980 Cotton Bowl game, score is Nebraska seven and the Cougars nothing. Frank Lieber will be able to play by play in just a moment. Nebraska leads it by a score of seven to nothing, and the Cornhuskers have the football first and ten at their 33-yard line. Make it third and ten. Quinn at the quarterback position, feeding it to the eye back. Red wine. Not much there at all. He is the deep man. Not a little bit short, bounces at the 40-yard line, will roll to the neighborhood of the 30-yard line of the Houston Cougars. First and 10 for the Cougars from their 29-yard line. It is Elston out to the 35 and stops shy of the 40-yard line. Very close to a first down. And Face mask also a little another break for the three of them were game breakers. He is flanked wide to the right side. And off goes to John Newhouse. Second and 10. Cougars try to get something going as they trail seven to nothing. The handoff to Terrell Clark. Third down. Cougars need six for the first. They're at the 41 of Nebraska. Elston scrambling out of trouble. He's got a man. Fee at the 15 yard line. Shoestring catch. First down. Nose of the ball just inside the 15 yard line. Houston threatening to tie it up. Elston on the fake. He keeps it. And a 10 to the five. He will. Fumbles the ball at the one that goes out of bounds. I believe the Cougars will retain possession. They will. Elston again keeping it to the five. This time he'll score. What a spark. What a spark Terry Elston has put in this Houston offense immediately. It's good. And we start from scratch. 12 minutes, 17 seconds left to play in the first half at the 44th Cotton Bowl Classic in Dallas. Nebraska 7, Houston 7. East West game, which will also be on CBS. Hatfield kicking off. Deep kick. Steals. From three yards deep in the end zone, he's in trouble at the five. Poor decision. Quinn, Franklin. Looks like Hip is in there. First man throw is Franklin, and he jets out to the 12-yard line. But Hip, all-time leading rush in Nebraska history, over 2,900 yards in his career. Trouble by injury, second down four. Here he goes. He's got the first down at the 18-yard line. He must be almost seven yards behind the line of scrimmage, standing back at the 10-yard line. That it. Hip. Straight forward, crunched at the line of scrimmage. 10 minutes, 45 seconds remaining. Jeff Quinn, the Nebraska quarterback, calling the signals. He throws and completes it out to the 30-yard line to number 84 to go to perhaps one of the best today. 60 degrees, very little wind. And a lot of enthusiasm. Hip, jolted at the line of scrimmage and a very good center, but he announced he is giving up basketball, going to concentrate on football. Not much there. Out to the 32-yard line goes Quinn. At third down, let's call it nine for the Cornhuskers at their 31-yard line. Quinn, excellent protection. Has his receiver at the 35-yard line, short of the first down, Kenny Brown, waiting at his 20-yard line for the snap. It's a good one. Low kick. Fielded by the short man, Bradley. Illegal use of the hands, offense, 15 yards, fourth down. Out of this with excellent field position. Better kick, fair catch, fee at the 45-yard line. Nebraska scored one touchdown in a run by Jarvis Redwine, missed a field goal, and the Cougars came back with a touchdown of their own. 
on the gallop by Terry Elston a few moments ago. And now the Southwest Conference, where they've been the dominating team the last few years. Elston, some move. Down to the 45, down to the 40 yard line. Did he put on a couple moves? He's been so outstanding coming off the bench. Again, Elston handing off up the middle this time. Is on the move at the Nebraska 36 yard line. Score tied at seven. Well, that time, third down six. Houston at the 36 of Nebraska. Well, short of the first down is John Newhouse and uh, actor Lou Gossett, who is in roots. First and 10, Nebraska at the 33. Quinn. Nice fake, and he goes for it all. Junior Miller, the intended receiver, and picked off by Elvis Bradley at the 15 yard line. Miller had his man beaten deep. Houston has the football first and 10 at their 18 yard line. Five and a half minutes left in the half as Elston looking for someone to go to. Gets the pass away, but considerably short of the intended receiver. Second and 10. Houston from the 18 yard line. Elston loosening it up. Being chased behind the line. Gets up to about the 22. Cotton Bowl Classic some six years ago. Third and six. Elston in trouble. Pretty cool customer and completes the pass for the first down at the 39 yard line to Hubert Miller. Cougar first down. They're moving from their 39 yard line. 420 left in the half. Straight handoff to Terrell Clark. They watch the first back. Usually a handoff. Second and five. Elston keeping it out to the 49 of the Houston Cougars. Quarterback sneak it is, and first down it is for Houston at the 50. Houston is the football, first and 10 at the 50. Elston, nice fake. Going to Clark. Pull it out, run it around the end on the option. Hands it off. Nice hole. And another first down is Newhouse. Nebraska, two minutes, two seconds left in the half. Clark. A minute and 35 seconds left to go in the half. Clark pulls his way to the 31-yard line. Runs hard. We would think they were trying to get outside with the beer. Loose ball. Fumble at the 30-yard line. And I believe Nebraska has recovered. Yes. Big turnover stops the Houston drive. Now Nebraska has the football at their 31-yard line. Jarvis Redwine is back in the game. There's Redwine. Razzle dazzle as he gives it back to Quinn on a flea flicker type play. The pass is incomplete. The Houston and Nebraska bands. And lots more. Quinn over the middle to Junior Miller. And the All American tight end catapults out to the 44 his first year. Look for him to be in the top five or six draft picks. Quinn wants to put some points on the board, completes the pass to Redwine. Who is knocked out of bounds just short of midfield at the 48 yard line. As you start the game, it's all it counts. Second and five from the 49. Quinn, a lot of pressure. Gets it away. It was Mitchell back there who was all over him. Nebraska, 49 yard line. They're into the field. 26 seconds left in the half. That steals in motion. Flag down as Quinn unloads down the sideline. Almost intercepted. Procedure. Illegal procedure. Offense. Refuse. Four down. From the 49. Way over the head of everybody. Bouncing at the five and on into the end zone. For the touchback. Don't get on the traveling squad. Frank, we should have an excellent second half. Both teams should be deadlocked. Elston. Dropped at the 22. That should do it unless somebody calls timeout. Time has run out in the first half of play, and it's about what we thought it would be. Pretty strong defensive battle between two very excellent football teams. The Houston Cougars of the Southwest Conference 7 and the Nebraska Cornhuskers of the Big 8-7. We'll be back with halftime in just a moment. 
pointed to the sky. Here's Hackney, who, by the way, is also the Cougars' third quarterback, if it gets down to that. Steals at the 5, out to the 15, 20, flag down, as Steals carries to the 23-yard line. Reggie Vonner. Thank you. Six touchdown passes, had four intercepted. He also has run. He's a good running quarterback, too. Penalty moves the ball back to the nine-yard line. The handoff is to Andrew Franklin, number 39. Baker has rushed this guy this year 32 times for 32 yards. So he's not much of a threat as a runner, apparently. Just as I say that, he picks up a pretty neat gain. And let him cut off the center's block. One for the first, and I don't know if he got it. Tim Smith, the punter. Bradley watches this one bounce at the 48 and down by Nebraska at the quarterback position at the throttle of the veer. Newhouse bolts down to the neighborhood of the 45, and then Elston had some misgivings about it and called the time. Elston. Going long, he's got three at the 10-yard line as the defensive back ring is wide to the right side. Newhouse and Clark are the setbacks. That's Herring. Couldn't hold it at the 39. We're 91. Back to do the kicking, standing on his 40. High kick. Fair catch is signal at the 12-yard line. Ralph Waite, David Burney, and Talia Balsham star in Holmes as the big power company wrecks havoc on a quiet community. Jarvis Redwine breaks through the first wave, gets out to the 20 yard line. They'll be talking Heisman, Mr. Redwine next year. A great year he's had. Redwine again, this time upended at the line of scrimmage. Kenny Hatfield from LaGrange, Texas. Smith is wide to the left side. Hager. To Redwine and Redwine tripped up behind the line by Tommy Ebner, number 25, 45 yard line in his end of the field. End over end kick, fair catch signal by Fee at the 47. We're in the third period, first and 10, Houston. Cougars from their 47 yard line, Terry Elston, their quarterback, dances across the 50 and down to the Nebraska 44. Mark Houston, a very good fourth quarter team. Fumble. I believe the Cougars get it back. Not enough for the first down. But in punt formation, ground is deep along with legal. Fair catch at the six yard line by Brown. Brown is wide to the left side. Smith split to the right. The eye back. Jarvis Redwine. That should be interesting. Again, Redwine. Over the right side. Crosses the 10, gets out to about the 12-yard line. Third and three. Tim Hager. Senior signal caller. Out in relief of Jeff Quinn decides to throw. It was intended for Smith. Bradley. At the Nebraska 40. Good kick. What a beauty. Best one of the day. Drives Fee back to the 37 to the 40, 45 yard line. Fitters have the football at their 45. Elston, nice fake. Little trouble on the pitch out. Terrell Clark has come back into quarterback as Elston had his jersey ripped off. He goes long, and this one is up for grabs. This has really turned into a defensive battle. Elston flushed out of the pocket, trying to throw on the run, gets it away. It's incomplete at the 45-yard line. Three seconds left to play in the third period. Legal, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Up to midfield into the 47-yard line, a fumble. And Nebraska gets it back. Houston territory. Four and a hand in the tackle. Pitch shot to Redwine, and Redwine is stopped at the 46-yard line. And well, if I was Houston, I'd keep my eye on that tight end at the top of your screen, 89, Junior Miller. Here he comes. He's going to throw it. Miller throwing on the end around, and Smith 
Did not get it. Smith goes wide to the left side. With protection for Quinn, now he's got problems. Buck from behind and dropped at the 42, short of the first down. Lee is standing back at the 10 yard line. Sails on at the five, takes a Nebraska hop, and they down it at the two. Cougars backed up to their goal line at the three yard line. Terry Elston, junior quarterback, keeps it. Rolls out to the nine. Three minutes, 45 seconds left in the third period. 44th annual Cotton Bowl Classic. Again, it's Elston. Dancing his way out to a first down. Make him number one rusher in the game, wouldn't it? Right. He didn't even start. Clark crossing out the 20 to the 24. Cougars been very reluctant, though, to put the ball in the air. Nebraska has thrown a lot more. See, Elston. He just follows that back right in the hole, Frank. Elston says, I'll do it myself. Seven to seven. No scoring here in the second half. Elston almost knocked down. Manages to stay on his feet. We got a penalty marker thrown. He said it all. Defense. Tipping. Offense. All set. Replay the down. Got an overstack to the left side. Elston gives to Newhouse. John Newhouse. Second and seven. Again, they give it to the first man, Newhouse, into the final minute of the third period. 50 seconds and counting. Third and four from the 35. Elston is buried at the line of scrimmage. Brown and Legal deep. Legal had the big return. A moment ago is off again. 40, 45, 50. We get a flag. As he's run out of bounds at the Houston 40. Sammy, Sammy offense on a run back, 15 yards, first down. He had no scoring in the second half. Score still tied at seven all. Terry Elston and Jarvis Redwine have traded touchdowns. Franklin up the middle, and that will end the period. And that's it for the third period of play at the 44th Cotton Bowl Classic. The 1980 Cotton Bowl will continue after this word from your local station. Steals wide to the left side for the Cornhuskers. Jeff Quinn back at the controls as we start the final period. The give goes to Franklin. Third down and two for Nebraska. Cornhuskers at their 39 yard line. Quinn wants to throw it, goes to the near sidelines and overshoots. Junior Miller, number. Go. We'll have a chance to run it back from the nine out to the 10 15. Dropped at the 17 yard line. Stall clocks on an optional basis. Seems to be working out pretty good. Elston throw it out and completes the pass at the 25 yard line to Eric Herring. Have the football. Score is tied at seven. Elston didn't need much. Nebraska's field position hasn't been that much better. They've started some drives awful deep in their territory. Newhouse fights his way out to the 33-yard line. Of course, it was Gilman that put together that beer offense. Newhouse across the 35 on Houston answer with a score in the second quarter. Elston in trouble. Somehow managed to get the ball away, intended on the far side. Newhouse, the setbacks. Nice hole for Newhouse, and he breaks through to the 48-yard line. That there we go. Newhouse gets the call. He doesn't get much. Long 11 minutes, 25 seconds. You keep looking for the one big mistake, which could decide this football game. Not much there for. Houston Cougars from their 48-yard line. Elston, nice fake, Spears. Lionel Feet at the 30-yard line. From scrimmage for either side. Newhouse, maybe a yard. Very impressive drive by the Cougars, moving from the 33. Newhouse to 
the 31 yard line. Picked up a yard, maybe two. And in has not caught a pass, Garrett Jokitis. Not quite enough for the first down. Clark, 41 yard attempt to break the tie. His longest year is 44. This is up. It is good. good. Just got over the bar. Barely. sidelines as Houston takes a three-point lead. 41-yard field goal by Ken Hatfield. Puts the Cougars in the lead 10 to 7 with 825 left to play in the game. The deep men are Kenny Brown and Anthony Steeles. Bounces in front of Steeles at the 11th, straight up the middle of the 20, 25. And bend at the 29-yard line, and we get a flag at the dead ball foul. Late hit. Defense. First down. Right around 100 yards rushing, and that's all. That was Terry Elston, the Houston quarterback, being worked out for the muscle cramp. Here's Quinn trying to get outside. Pitches it wide, and a first down in the play. The 43-yard line. And gets the call again, this time with much less success as he's dropped at the line of scrimmage. Seven minutes, 25 seconds left to play in the game. Nebraska trailing 10 to 7. They have a second and 10 at the Houston 42 yard line. Steals. That steals to the 35, to the 30. We got a flag on the play as he carries it down to the 15 yard line against Nebraska. <laughs> he would. And moves the ball back to the 44-yard line of the Cornhuskers. It is now third down and 26. Miller. Trying to hit his tight end, Junior Miller. Steals in motion. Good protection. Quinn going to air it out. He's got Smith. Couldn't hold it at the 15-yard line. Well defended. Quite a big family. Boy, that was almost blocked. Did get it away. Goes out of bounds at the 28-yard line of the Houston Cougars. First and 10. Cougars from their 28. Elston, who's gone most of the way after he did not start. Now the Nebraska defense really has its work cut out right here. They've got to stop him. Get that football back. Second and eight. Loose ball. Let's see. There's the break and the opportunity they've been looking for. First down at the 31-yard line of the Houston Cougars. And a lot of time left. Quinn making the red wine. Throws on the run, completes the pass to Brown on the far side. He goes out of bounds with the goal to tie. Touchdown puts him ahead. On second and two, they give it a red wine. And boy, does the Houston defense waiting on him. Third and two for the first down at the Houston 23-yard line. They trail 10 to 7 in the last period. Hit wants to throw it. He goes back to Quinn. Quinn is at the 10-yard line. First down. First and goal to goal for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Franklin, one yard to the nine. Not get a first down. Frank. Second and goal, Franklin to about the six. These defenses all day long have been going at each other. Here comes Look the at this swing. play. Oklahoma swinging gate. They score. As the trick play, they worked on it in the week. That's Jarvis Redwine Red doing Wine. his thing. There's a flag down. Frank, There's this, a this play was put in with a two-point conversion. Defense doesn't react to it. They throw it out over the Illegal procedure. Offense. Third down, goal to goal from the six-yard line. Nebraska has up its lead this time. Jeff Quinn, the quarterback, back to throw. Wide open for the touchdown is Jeff Finn, number 87. And Nebraska has taken the lead. There's a backup tight end for Junior Miller. That's no touchdown, so what a touchdown for Jeff Finn. Zuka with the extra point try is good. 
And so the Cornhuskers now lead it by a score of 14 to 10. We have three minutes and 56 seconds remaining, and don't you dare go away. Man has scored the touchdown. Back up tight end, the kickoff by the Nebraska Cornhuskers out of bounds at the five-yard line. So they'll run that play and get two points. And of course, if they did, they'd go on and come over and kick. It's the first time point. they've used it this year. Here's a good, healthy boot. Eddie Wright, 25, 30, right up to the 34. Well, Terry Elston. Elston back to throw it. Newhouse. 37 picked up three. Trying to turn the corner is Newhouse to the 39. Cougars need the first. And they get it at the 48 yard line. Eric Herring moving with two minutes and 20 seconds left to play in the game. Nebraska's defense are double covering the outside receivers. Elston. Trying to go down the near sideline. Brown is wide left. Herring, flank to the right. Elston goes over the middle. It's complete at the 36-yard line. Yet another first down as Fee. Fee is flanked to the right. Elston giving the ball to Terrell Clark. They trail 14 to 10. Cougars have done it so many times before in the final period. Elston. Receivers covered. He's at the 35 and down to the 30-yard line of the Nebraska Cornhuskers. A minute 10. Big hole for Newhouse. First down. Down to the 20. That'll stop the clock. Right out possession on the left side. Herring on the right. Elston looking for Herring. Has him at the 10. First down at the 9. Round to the left. Newhouse. Now it's Elston. Elston looking. Protection is good. Now he's in trouble. He's at the 10 and goes out of bounds at the 6. Got back to the line of scrimmage. When all was said and done, third and goal from the 6-yard line. Elston. Incomplete at the goal line. Elston over the middle. It is caught for a touchdown. Perry caught the deflection for the touchdown. It was deflected too, Frank. We're right on the button. And Tom Osborne is not too happy about that. All flex. It went to Perry Perry, just like Bill Yeoman called it. And Benham is breaking loose. Let's take a look. Here's Herring fighting his way over. It's deflected by Rick Linkless and number 21, Eric Herring, the junior. That's another point to the Cougars total. It's now a 17 to 14 game. 12 seconds left. What do you do now? Well, I'll tell you one thing. Terry Elston, for the fourth time this year, has brought Houston back. That's Brown at the 15 yard line. 25. Tried to lateral the ball. It's recovered by Houston at the 13. Four seconds to go. Play the full 60 minutes, and boy has Houston. Another great fourth quarter come from behind victory. As Elston simply falls down with the football, it is over. It is history here at the Cotton Bowl, and Houston has rallied for an impressive 17 to 14 victory. It is good a postseason bowl game as I think you're going to see. Yeoman accepting congratulations from some of the Nebraska players as well. 18 years at the University of Houston.